Today we're going to show you how to do a breaker change on a Pushmatic panel. These are these breakers also are marketed under Siemens Bulldog. The problem with these is they have a piston inside, and the flag. This one, this one won't even reset. They'll get where they won't reset, or the flag, like. One of these is on, the flag showing off, it's, it flag sticks. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, to get in there, first thing you do is you turn that main 100 amp power off. Turn the power off. This is a Wiggy uh, electricians use them. It'll give you 120, 240, 480. I don't mess with anything above 240. But it's got a red and a positive and a negative leads the little bubble will vibrate and move where you want to touch is this is one bus bar here see it's got little pointed leads so you just and, and the negative is going to go the negative the neutral bar is over here you got to go positive to negative and there I'm getting uh, 120 if you can see it it's vibrating too you can feel it this little thing up here vibrates and then you get the little orange bar comes down um, you've got to test that you got to make sure that bus bar is dead if you touch that you're gonna you're gonna you're grounded you're gonna get shocked so uh, you can use these are that's the only thing I bought this was 50 60 bucks it's called the Wiggy VT-1 uh, regular voltmeter they make little tiny like ten dollar ones it just has a little light that, that's good enough just as long as you make sure you've got good you're touching good bus bar and you're touching neutral same thing on this side if you're gonna test if you're gonna put a breaker in on this side hot there's two bus bars I don't know if you can see it there but there's a bus bar there and a bus bar here those are both hot and positive that's new neutral or ground a little neutral this house doesn't have a ground. <laughs> it's one of my next projects is to change its electrical. But your ground stake would be in the ground. You want to go neutral to hot. Across there and then here to there. And that will give you your voltage. Again, don't do this unless you're comfortable. If you get any reservations, hire an electrician. Um, a buddy that can do it. So be very careful, please. Now when you pull this front panel, you got to be careful with this front panel. This front panel lays on top, and there's two screws at the bottom. But as you can see, it folds up in there around the top. But I've heard of guys getting arcs. I'm going to put tape over the back of this. But I've heard guys getting arcs when they take this out. Because see, the bus bar is right behind it. So I recommend put some tape on the back of that panel. Wear some rubber gloves, you know, electrical gloves, so you don't get shocked. Have somebody with you in case you do get shocked. Here's my breaker panel cover. I went ahead and taped it uh, to show you what it looks like. This is where it's going to touch up here, up on top, and back. So I just ran some tape. You can see it there in the light inch and a half down get the sides too the bus bar lays kind of like right here where my thumb is you know it runs up and down here so as you this thing has to be put back in like on a you got to kind of put it in and then tilt it down and, it, and it's when it's back in there is when you're tilting it this comes this, this part right here comes dangerously close to that bus bar so tape it you shouldn't get shocked there and but also if you take this off a lot if it's you know hitting something make sure the tape isn't worn away you know inspect it when you get it off if you get any gouges or rub marks take the tape off and, and retape it panels dead to take the breaker out I don't know if you can see this this bottom screw here, it fit in like this. Power's off on this panel. 
There's a bottom screw. It's already out. But there's also a couple keyways here. A couple alignment. You see how they go in. They'll kind of line up. And it'll sit flush and then goes in the new one. The problem was you could find these used. They were expensive. It's a single 20, single pole, 20 amp. This is a single pole. By single pole means it takes up one side. This would be a two pole, which usually runs motors, AC. That's AC up there. Uh, this one runs my pool, which is another motor. Uh, this one, the problem with this one is there's a little keyway right here. So I had to file that down. If you can see it, it I had to file like an eighth of an inch from here down because it wouldn't slide all the way in. Now it slides all the way in. You just screw that screw down there and then your leads go in. We'll uh, show you how we get it in here. If they're a little tight to get out, you can grab them. You know, grab the breaker. A pair of channel locks there and just kind of gently pull out. They'll, they'll come out fairly easy. You know, it's just that keyway, those little tangs holding them in. This one sticks out a little more. And when you uh, back off your set screw there, put your wire in, don't back that set screw off too far because you don't want to drop that. Those are hard to thread, they're hard to get back in, you don't want to cross thread it. So back it out halfway enough to get your wire in. Hold your wire in good. Get that tight. Fairly tight because loose connections create resistance which creates heat which then creates the fire. So you want good tight connections. Not too tight though to strip it. You know you just can't Magilla Gorilla it and strip it. Just nice and snug. Got the new breaker in there. I'm going to go ahead and push them on. Now you can see the old bad one. This one right here. It doesn't even click. It just, as you can hear it, it's not making anything. Now we can hit the main breaker. Before we button it up, let's. We're gonna test everything. Go in the, this one ran my bedroom hallway lights. Go in and test everything, make sure it's good before we button it up. That breaker was I believe $52.95 at Lowe's or uh, Home Depot. Lowe's didn't have the double 20. I think they had a single 20. As you can see, I'm running out of space. So the 20 will help me add a circuit. This is my dead one, so I can put a double 20 up there. You don't want to overload your panel. I've got an older house, 1960. 60s and 70s, I guess, had these Pushmatics. They're not a bad breaker box, except these breakers are getting expensive. I mean, that's like 25, 26 bucks for a 20 amp. 54 for the double, 54, 52, I can't remember. Um, these are more expensive. These uh, the 15 amp was like 32. If you want a 15, I got a couple 15s in here. Uh, I've seen them. Lowe's has some of the ones new. They're made in China. I've seen them on eBay. New. Just don't buy the used. The used are just you know they're they're demoed out of a house, so they may have 10 years on them, 20 years. The problem with these is, like this one went the other night. I just went to turn it off to do some electrical work. We'll turn on and I couldn't get it to work. So you're, you got to be only turn them off absolutely when you need to because if they go out, you're screwed. You know, you got to go find it. I would keep some spare. I'm eventually going to change this panel out to a bigger service. This is a 100 amp service. Uh, I want to go to, uh, there's a 100 amp, go to a two, 150 or two. 
to add in some other like jacuzzi or lighting. Uh, if you're going to keep this pushmatic panel, pushmatic, I would buy those spares now because uh, like five years ago I couldn't find them. I had to buy the used. Some guy here in San Bernardino had a salvage. And I, one of those, I think it's already broken. I think it's the one with the window flag that's, that's messed up. It was one of his. So that's your push -o -matic. And again, put some tape on this access panel. Put some tape on the back of that. It's, it's going to arc right there at the top. When you fold it out, just insulate that top. And the and like the top and the where it hangs over an inch. It's like this. Take some black tape. Use gloves when you take it off. I mean, when I first took it off, I was like, "Holy mackerel!" You know, there's the bus bars right back there. And I saw a guy online said he took his off and heard a snap. He said he was lucky he didn't get shocked. Wear gloves, insulated boots if you got them. Have somebody with you. And then when you put it back in, same thing. Gloves tape it so if it does touch it's not going to arc have your gloves on have somebody there with you that can with a can you know knock you off if you get hung on the electricity and that's your probably took uh, 15 minutes with the camera probably 10 minutes the filing would slow me down. Some guys say they have to do that filing. Some guys say it snaps right in. Looking at the comments on uh, Amazon and uh, Lowe's. Uh, two guys said it worked great. Two guys said it didn't. Wouldn't fit. I think they they may not have known how to file that down. Uh, but it looks like they're pretty universal fit. And they just stick out a little bit more. So there you go your home electrical repair tip pushmatic breakers another tip is um, I lock my bus bar or my breaker box because kids can get in here and play um, somebody burglars the house they might want to just turn off your main which will kill your security light and kill your alarm unless you got a battery backup um, I just lock it keep the keys handy um, if Edison needs in, they'll have to contact you, but Edison usually just messes with the meter. This is your responsibility down here. But just keeps people that don't need to be in there. Kids, a kid could come in here and open it and shock himself. That's the other reason. Just keep it locked up. Less headaches.